What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Torrance here and in today's video we are doing a first impressions on the Melt Cosmetics Cheese and Parties palette. If you are like me, you are a collector of Melt Cosmetics, so the day that this launched, there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to be going ahead and getting it. I want to show you all what this looks like here. These colors, as you see, we have some mauve purple shades here. This palette does lean toward the cooler side of things, but as someone with warm skin, I absolutely love cool tones because they're a complete contrast, meaning they are truly going to draw attention to my eyes. As you can see, I did go deep with the purples, but I tried to keep my crease shades as light as possible. Before we get into things, make sure you are subscribed to the channel to make sure you never miss any tutorials. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like it. And also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've either picked up the original stack or if you have plans on picking up the new palette. But without any delay, I'm going to go ahead, snatch everything off, and we'll get started on this tutorial. I'm going to make sure all products and tools used in today's video are going to be linked in the description bar below. But I want to start things off with this matte shade here, Last Caress. Press it in first and then buff it out. So far, so good on the pigmentation. She's buffing and building really well. I want to take this lighter matte shade, Total Immortal, and buff that out as a transition. Same routine as before, pressing it on first and then buffing it out later. Okay, come through pigmented transition shade. Usually pale purples or mauves and colors like that tend to go on and buff straight away. This thing is actually holding on. Give it to me. Our main focus is just diffusing the edges of that crease shade. One layer. And just to make sure my crease shade hasn't diffused too much, I'm going to go back in with my original blending brush and that shade Last Caress. And I'm just going to deepen it up a tad bit. There's just a little bit of product here. And I don't even really have to pay attention. I just want to make sure that shade has not completely disappeared before we cut our crease. Now I'm going to take my glitter adhesive and cut my crease. Before going in with lid shades, I want to fill up my outer V with that first crease shade, Last Caress. Gonna just load it up on one side of my original blending brush. Just pack it right there on the outer V. Thank you. 
For my first lid shade, I want to go right here into Strange Love. And now I want to fill up the rest of my lid with the shade Sweet Ball. Now I want to deepen up my outer V and my lower crease with this shade Mean Streak. I am really anticipating what this is going to look like when we finish because I am not a big fan of soft mauve purple looks. I tend to go bright neon with my purples, but I'm going to jump off camera, finish my face, and I'll be back to show you all the final look. And this is the final look. I wanted to give you all a full face view before I gave you all my final thoughts. And... But of course, you can tell by my smile, I am loving this palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. I wanted to show you all that I have the original She's in Party stat, and I checked the Melt Cosmetics website as well as the Sephora website, and it appears they are no longer selling it on either one, which truly breaks my heart because I am someone who's been a Melt Cosmetics fan since the very first stack, which is why I have this Melt Pro palette here. And with purchasing this palette, it came with, I believe, this new sticker because every time I purchased, it came with a sticker. And as you can see, we've been with them for years. And so to see that this original stack, which came with the shades Skeleton Kiss, Last Caress, Mean Streak, and She's in Parties. But when they said they were gonna be re-releasing it in palette form with four new shades, there was no doubt in my mind I was gonna get it. I truly believe if you are someone who has a taste for purples or mauve shades, as well as cool tone shades, because right now it seems like everyone is just doing warm tone neutrals. So when I saw an extension on this palette, there was no doubt in my mind to get it. The only shade I had any issues with was this color here, Mean Street. It is the darkest matte purple shade in the palette. And I think the reason I had issues with it is because I used this brush here, my Wayne Goss number 19 brush. And this is an extremely soft and thin brush here. So it was rather hard to pick up product. But when I used a larger brush, my Sonya G Builder Pro, let me show you a size comparison here. This one picked it up really fast, went straight through. So if you're gonna use a smaller brush, it may take a little more time to get the job done, but it will go. And as you can see, everything is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the face look for lips. I did go in with the Melt Cosmetics on the go lipstick. I have their bullet lipstick here and I realized I did not have a liner by them. So I went in with my Lip Bar Straight Living Lip Liner. They never do me wrong. 
And for the first time on camera, I'm actually wearing eyeliner. It surprised me as well. I am wearing the Psychedelic Sister by Urban Decay. And I must tell you all, I'm starting to become a fan of eyeliner as well. Eyeliner and lashes just seem to be my thing in the year 2020. But I hope you all truly enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you either have the original stack here or the new palette. It keeps me happy knowing I no longer have to travel with these stacks because they are very fragile. And know that if for any reason I travel with my palette and it breaks or gets damaged, I can repurchase this. So this is gonna be the one that I use from now on. It seems like that is everything. I have to head to work. This is gonna be my first time wearing very colorful looks at the new plant, so. I wanted to go in subtle with these purples, but trust me, they will be getting a colorful look coming up. Please let me know how you all are liking this new setup. I haven't got anything new yet. It's just I move my ring light and the lights on my ceiling fan. I could not figure out for weeks why my lighting was changing week after week. Finally realized my four bulb ceiling fan was being moved every time I wanted to dust it. So now I know every time that I clean to move those lights facing towards me. But let me know how this color is coming off on camera because so far everything is looking beautiful. But I hope you all truly enjoyed everything. Continue to practice. And if there's nothing else, goodbye YouTube.